So summer <clears throat> about April, about this time in 1945, I received a letter from my father from Vermont to Elizabeth City saying, uh, Greg, is there any chance of you to come up to Vermont and judge, help me judge the horse show? So, you know, I'm just a little guy down here in Vermont. What do you do? Well, yeah, we got lots of planes. So I went to my skipper, Stanley Chernak. Stan, uh, how would you like to fly up to Vermont, to Burlington, Vermont, for some weekend? I'm specifically in, in August something. And he said, uh, why? I said, well, you can help me judge a horse show. And he looked at me and said, well, I don't know anything about horses. He says, well, I'll tell you what, I guarantee a pretty girl on every horse. And uh, you look at the girls, I'll look at the horses. And so it went on. Time came. And uh, uh, at the time when I made the request, we had a single engine plane, which I knew he could fly. Uh, I wasn't a pilot, but I, I could also fly it. And uh, off, I was going to think we'd go up there and stay there the weekend and come back. He says, first, let's ask the Russians, because I don't think we can take a, a U.S. Navy plane with a white stars on it. There'll be questions asked, what is that PBY they doing in Burlington, Vermont? So we went to our friend Chibisov, the commanding officer who wrote that book, and uh, uh, asked him, says, can we borrow one of your planes for a weekend? And to which he said, well, it's yours. I haven't signed for it yet. He says, just don't crack it, crack it up. <laughs> uh, and I, we told him what we wanted to do. So, uh, sure enough, came the time we got his permission, and so we took this plane with the red stars on it and flew to Vermont. And uh, nobody dare ask what the red stars were about up there. <laughs> and <clears throat> we needed a volunteer. We need at least one other man to fly. It takes the flight engineer to fly up there. And we asked the crew, any crew, whether anybody want to go to Vermont for the weekend? Five volunteers immediately, you know, from our little group. Said, okay, all of you come on up, we'll go to Vermont together. So we landed there on a Friday, buzzed the camp, tell them we're coming. We, I wrote my father, says, you'll know where we come. And uh, just get in the car and drive up to the airport in Burlington, 20 miles away, and uh, we'll be ready when you get there. And uh, so we did. We uh, got off and got back to the camp, and there was Anne, trepsing around, very cute, and love at first sight, so to speak. Even though I knew uh, two of the other counselors that were there, and I was quite uh, anxious to see them again. Uh, we, I had dated them before, but uh, suddenly my eye caught this blonde. <laughs> she was my father's assistant. So I had no problem with him about marrying her <coughs> because he knew her well. <laughs> when we left the camp on that Monday, uh, we flew, well, we went, left the guys met us at the airport, all five of them, on time. As I told you before, treat them right, they'll treat you right. And uh, on time and ready to go. And we came down over the camp, 20 miles south on Lake Champlain. And as we were crossing Lake Champlain, unbeknownst to us, one of the crew bombers guys dropped what is known as a smoke bomb, which is like a little bomb. You drop it in the water and then it creates smoke. And that's usually for seaplane 
There's an operation to be able to tell which way the wind's blowing. If you want to make a landing, then you have no, so you want to go against the wind to land, which way is the wind blowing? So you drop one of these things, circle around, and you know. Well, later on, after we're married, Anne tells me, says, by the way, did you know that, that smoke came in the letter V? And that was VJ Day. That day was called VJ Day.